Welcome to Comfy Africa number two. Instagram, we're waiting for you to come live. This will not be a live, a long live for Friday Night Live. I'm going to work in this area. So, um, you know, I'm debating it, actually. I'm thinking more like I might want to turn it back this way. So that in case people, like, come walking into my line of sight that they, they don't want to be on my shot so yeah we're gonna we're gonna angle that a little bit more all right so I'm gonna be working in this area hopefully you guys can all see i'm gonna um i'm gonna keep it simple it's cold outside so i won't be able to give you guys the standard i would have been doing this at my job but my boss set all the um his band equipment stuff up so as always, first and foremost, even if I haven't done this before, first make sure you have your your drink. This is Gatorade. Obviously, there's more water in here than Gatorade. Or I didn't shake it up enough. It doesn't matter. What does matter is make sure you have something to keep hydrated. Probably shouldn't drink before you drink. Okay. Second, which is more important than that, under no circumstances whatsoever should you ever attempt anything that you see me or any other martial artist do if you have not had martial art training. All right, so let's get some things assessed. No matter what your belt ranking is, the ultimate weapon is always going to be your hands, forearms, elbows, knees, feet. All right? Now, until you can utilize those, a bow staff is good if you can get to it. If you can't get to it, then it's just a stick. All right? I know you're all thinking, why would you say that? Because the unfortunate truth is, it's just a stick. It started off as a stick, it'll end as a stick. It'll be a stick until it is destroyed, or it'll be a stick long after you have breathed your last breath. So your strikes and your strikes, I need practice with this bow, as you can see. <laughs> now, a lot of people don't teach you how to effectively catch a bow. You're not going to do like the movies and catch it this way. You can block it this way and pray it doesn't break your fucking hands. But there's a little bit of fat under your arm. Now, let me stop before anybody gives me any shit. How I was taught how to catch a bow is probably what I should have began with. All right? There's a little bit of fat under your arms. Bodybuilders call them wings. You know, it's probably the best place to take a hit. Like if somebody's throwing a kick or a punch and you turn your thigh to it, it's probably the safest place to hit because it's going to hit these upper ribs, which are a little bit more durable than these lower ribs. You don't ever want to take a stick down here and you don't want to take it over here. If you have to take a hit with a bow, you want to take that bitch up here, lock and take. All right? And that's how I was taught to take it. Will that shit work in actual combat? Here's the truth on that. That depends on who the fuck's swinging that goddamn stick. It also depends on your training. It also depends on your experience. It also depends on the experience of the guy swinging the fucking stick at you. And if they're just swinging for the fences, and they don't have a specific target outside of your neck and your head, and if you're short like me, I'm not going to try to jump up and catch that bitch, all right? I'm short. I'm going to try to duck it, dodge it, outmaneuver the damn thing. Do whatever the hell I can to not get hit with the stick. But if they're my size and I'm the same size as them and they're swinging and they can come this way and I can catch it, now I've locked it. So if I'm as strong as they are, we got to tug of war. If I'm weaker than they are, they're probably going to smash the stick back. But if I'm fast, I can grab it and I can break it with this little chop bullshit or I can just snag it this way. Your best bet, snag it this way. Do not attempt to karate chop and break this damn stick. Nine times out of ten, that shit's not gonna fucking happen. Unless you're like The Rock. Because you probably have the muscle to do that shit. I'm five, three and a half. I don't have the muscle to do that. So if that motherfucker hits here and I lock it, I'm gonna take the swing, but I'm taking the whole fucking stick. Now, if you're on the other end of that, when I get here, you wanna pull as fast as you can. So it's boom and pull it back. Because if you don't, then I'm gonna have your stick. Understand how that works? If you swing, and I catch and I lock, you want to pull as fast as you can before I 
push this way and have your stick. And if I push this way and I have your stick, now I've got the stick. Now the question is, am I as good as you with the stick? Because that's going to determine how this fight's going to play out from now on. Nine times out of ten, I will tell you what I always tell you. Don't bring a weapon to a fight. All right? See how that worked? It didn't. So if there's a stick between you and I, and I'm faster to do this, it still didn't work. But if I'm faster to do this, now I got the stick and you don't. So don't play games with your life with shit like this. We got this one stick. First one gets the stick. So, <laughs> I gave him the stick. You understand how this works? Hmm. Wooden dice. God, I hope that didn't go in that hole. <laughs> one second. Ah, oh, damn. Where the hell is it? Oh, thank God. It didn't go in the hole. Whew. There's a drain hole behind the camera. I don't want to have to try to find the, 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 the shop back to suck that bitch up. Now, understand, I have a bow. This bow is as good as that right there. That's my maximum range. If I want to be efficient, my maximum range and I won't be efficient is all the way over here. I hope you guys can see that on both Instagram and YouTube. Because here's the thing here, I still got some stability. Here, I have stability, but not that much. All right? You got to understand how your weapons work. You have to understand how your weapons work. Before you consider bringing a weapon to a fight, you better understand how that works. You also better pray that the guy you're about to fight doesn't have the same knowledge or more knowledge to fight you with. Now everything you just saw, right there, this whole shit, you're never going to do that in a fight. Alright? You are never going to do that in a fight. You will do that shit in the movies and it will look smooth and crisp and if it don't, they'll fix it in the editing room. You will not get a snowball's chance in hell of pulling that off on anybody. This, you might. But what if you do this and they do that and kick the stick out of your range? Now you have no weapon. Now both of y'all are jockeying for position to get this damn stick. Understand where I'm going? You see, now you just set yourself up for a fall because you're sitting here trying to be fancy. You try to roll that bitch up. So you roll it up, and that person, boom, front kicks that bitch into your chest. So they kick it, boom. If this shit hits you in the chest, it might spin you back. It might knock your ass out. It might do something because what if it missed and hits you in the throat? You have to understand how your weapons work. You have to. Because if you don't understand how your weapons work, Someone's going to understand how your body doesn't work anymore when they fuck your shit up. So if you're going to get into a fight with somebody, you only have this one stick and you decide to do this, careful. Because if they're fast and they've watched this video, comes up straight, they may decide to kick that bitch right at you. Kick it up, boom! Now they got the advantage because they hit you with that and the shock from that's probably going to send you into what the fuck just happened. And then they're going to come at you with whatever the hell they else they got left. Because this bitch hits you here, their foot could be right on it. Boom! Now they're holding you. And if there's a wall behind you, they got you dead to rights. So then you're fucked. You're also not going to be doing this. Now in a real fight, you're not going to get the chance. Alright? Not going to get the chance. Because unless you catch that person and they have no martial arts skills at all, if they see you got a stick, two things are going to happen. They're going to be smart and decide not to fight you, or they're going to be crazy and try to bum rush your shit. And if you don't understand how that shit works, having this stick just means you wasn't prepared for somebody to charge you. A lot of people will see a stick. He got a stick. He got a stick. Then you got the motherfuckers that don't give a fuck that you got a stick. Oh, you got a stick? You got a fucking stick? 
right, fuck it. You can't hit me but so many times with the motherfucker. That's the thing people fail to understand when they're teaching y'all martial arts. You're right. They can't hit you but so many times. If they hit you right the first time, they won't need to hit you at all other than that one time. But if they don't know what they're doing and they don't hit you right, or they don't know how to swing the bow stick properly, or they don't know how to defend with the bow staff properly, then that's a chance that they just fucked up. Understand that a weapon is an advantage that can be taken from you at any time. This is why I tell people all the fucking time. Don't bring weapons to fights. Because you don't know who the fuck is fighting you until that first punch or kick is thrown. You don't know how much they can take. They don't know how much you can take. But y'all will find out after the first hit. Y'all can both have a freak accident and both of y'all throw lefts and knock each other, slam the fuck out. That would be great. That's a draw. Now y'all can both walk away with your pride on your damn body and say, okay, well, you both threw the same punch. We both knocked each other out. Don't worry, not done. Just getting a longer stick. So to prove um, height, the theory, all right, five, three and a half. This thing's a good seven or eight feet, all right, and covered in spider webs. This. It's my maximum safety that I still have the ability to use it. I'm in the danger zone because it's heavy and it starts to drift. <laughs> That's it. I'm dust in the wind. Now, professionally, this would be long enough to be a monkey stick. All right? As I say in many of things, if you want to learn about monkey sticks, you want to go to um, Yin Yang Man from WMSC Madness. He's the only person I know in America that has done monkey stick and has it filmed. Alright, so you want to go to Yin Yang Man. Google WMAC Masters and then look at the Yin Yang Man and then you'll have that shit done. Alright? But like I said, right here, that's my maximum safety point. Because I can still maneuver this bitch and get back into a safety position. Boom, 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 boom. Now, here, we're good. You know, for short range, but with the stick this long, if my enemy has gotten in, I fucked up. I mean, look at this bitch. Here's a better look. Look at this bitch tripping me up. <laughs> with a stick this long, you shouldn't be able to get past it unless you're like a fucking cat. You know, so I'm here. Boom, 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 boom. I don't have to swing that much. All I really gotta do is just keep jabbing out instead of swinging. Now, if it's more than one opponent, that's gonna be different. And as far as this um, here thing, <laughs> not happening. You might be able to pull that shit off. I'm not gonna even attempt that shit. Now, if I'm here, boom, boom, that's it. Boom, boom. I'm really not gonna be doing any of this shit. We're not playing helicopter, helicopter, please come down. We're playing, my stick is long as fuck, and I'm not gonna let you get past the halfway point of this stick. You're coming, boom! I got no excuse other than you ducking for me to miss that shit. If I swing this bitch and you duck it or you jump it, now I got a problem. How do we fix that problem? You jumped, come back. Don't wait for them to take another step. Boom, boom. That's why you move fast. It's not as fast as it should be, but this thing's kind of thick and heavy. So you duck it, squeak this way. You jump it, you know, you jump it, I'm this high, and you jump it, you're a tall motherfucker. So let's say you duck it, and I bring it back down low. So let's say I go low, you jump it, I bring it up high. All right? So that's pretty much the gist of it. If I swing this bitch, and you duck it, I'm going to come low for the next swing. I'm not going to let you take too many more steps ahead of me, because swoop. Gonna need to move back. Understand that you're gonna have to right, this angle so you can see. Swing at the guy, he ducks it. Right? Ducks it. Now if you see me, I step back and I still move in the motion of the swing. Boom, boom. Understand? Now he's going to jump it. Low and high. 
Now, why I didn't move there is because I was stepping forward. So here and here. You know, but let's say he knows what he's doing. He jumps it. He ducks it. He jumps it. He ducks it. So what I'm actually doing is this. All right? Now, with this jagged ass stick, it's a little bit more difficult to explain how that works. Now, if it was a real monkey stick, it would be even. There wouldn't be any knots. It would be even all the way from the ground to the floor. So I would be able to maneuver it like I would be able to maneuver a regular bow staff. So this bitch is a whole bunch of bamboo or sugar cane. I don't know what the fuck it is. I just know it's taped up like a motherfucker. So I'm here, and I go here, I go here, here, here. Basically, if I can't do any of that, I want to be able to swing this shit. Somebody comes behind me, boom. I have enough range that I can take on two. Boom, boom. Now the question is, are they going to go high, low, or are they going to stay on the feet? They're going to be medium. I'm not going to know that until the fight takes place. If he comes low, boom, that guy goes high. Now, if they both go low, I got some issues. Boom, boom. I got to see which one is closest they get. Which goes back to a weapon, and I broke a damn nail. A weapon is an advantage that can be taken from you at any given time in a fight. You do not want that to happen. And my alarm's going off. You do not want that to happen. And if it does happen, it's going to be a fucking problem for you. So, it's getting cold. I'm going to end the live with some commas. And then I'm going to end the YouTube after. That being said, I just want you guys to understand, a weapon is an advantage that can be taken from you at any given moment in a fight. Any given moment. There's no designated point in time where the damn thing can't be taken from you. If you're fighting someone who's an ace, you better clear your space. Or they will fuck your shit up. Okay. We're going to do a little bit of commas. Now, I remember that a comma, and this is a wooden comma, but a comma is for gashing, so you can connect here and pretty much end the person because you got their throat and you can just behead their shit. So you want to be careful with that. But remember when you're doing commas, these are close quartered weapons. They are not range weapons. So unless you got a chain attached to this thing where you can throw it and pull it back, you're going to um, have to deal with this stuff. Sorry, there's a little snow dog over there, but it's not an Eskimo. It's the color of snow. You're never going to do that. You're never going to get the chance. That would have cut my arm clean off, so that's not what you do. Block, strike, strike. Not block, strike, pull out, whip around, and cut. No. I teach you that every time I do it for a reason, because a lot of people just want to think that we can be fancy. Boom, strike, strike, strike. Not boom, strike, pull out, rip, strike. And if you've seen that, you see me almost drop this bitch. And that's exactly why you don't do that. Okay. Here, gash, 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 gash. The fight's going to end about the fourth gash. Trust me, you're cutting into people. So boom, 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 boom. That's pretty much it. You block the weapon, strike. You don't block the weapon, strike, pull out, look fancy, and do it again. No, that's not what these are for. Boom, strike, 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 done. Understand? Or block, strike, strike. But nine times out of ten, you're still going to probably need this block. Boom, strike, 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 strike. You're cutting and ripping with the comma. So you have to understand how these things work. Block, strike, strike, strike. You, you can probably stop after the fourth strike. Because... They're coming down, you're blocking. So, clock, come up, you block it, boom, 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 boom. You don't do that, as you just saw. That could cost you some shit. So, same concept, block, shoot, 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 you're done. Not block, boom, boom, boom. Ah. Save that shit for the movies. Okay, that being said, I'm Echo Fang Grey Wolf. This is Kung Fu Africa number two, B, C, and U.
Instagram Live. I thank you, even though nobody was here for this Friday Night Live. I greatly